Thank you to all my Patreon sponsors, Jeff, The Up Channel, Adam, Geek and Noah's Dad, Anthony, Kobe, T, Renee, Ace, Maddox, Justin, Matthew, Nyo, John, Terrence, Danwick, Edward, Kaczynski, Kevin Mullen, Adam, Ray, Glorious Royals, Party Marty, Punk Rick's Videos, Mina Shirakawa's, Boobas, and Venji. Thank y'all. Who's ready for story time with Meerkat? Meerkat! Makato! Some people, I swear, some people just want to destroy beautiful things. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Some people just hate it when good things exist. Nothing is static, even the Mona Lisa is falling apart. But some beautiful things can revive from the brink of death and live again to continue being beautiful and we should hold it sacred. But some people won't because the person who wants to destroy beautiful things is one Rossi Ogawa. Saki Kashima has died many times. She's used to seeing the entrance to the end of everything. You betcha she's also used to flipping death off and reviving again. She just wants to vibe and not die. You know how traumatizing constantly dying has to be? Imagine, you're like Jack Harkness from Doctor Who. You die and you stay dead, your brain losing its blood, and then you just suddenly awaken like blah. Trauma, yo. First, Kashima had to fight Shuri in the Five Star and barely escaped it for life. But Shuri wanted revenge, and the Hat Man granted her wish and forced Kashima to fight her again. She clearly did, right? Nah, she died, but didn't tap out. A widow tie threw in the towel. So for the third match, Saki Kashima decided to outright face her fear of death and train under the tutelage of Morpheus. Now, she knows Kung Fu, but Shuri like... Show me. So they fought in a UWF rules match. No pins, no Kishikaisei, with her powers of revival stripped from this poor, frail creature. Kashima went all out and died. She died. Oh yeah, she did. Like really, she did. Since then, Saki Kashima has been glad to be rid of the monster of her life. But Shuri wasn't satisfied killing Kashima. She decided to murder Kevin too. Kevin dead now. She dead. Saki Kashima moved on in life and entered the Cinderella Tournament, Stardom's annual single elimination tournament, to win a pretty princess dress and earn a wish from Rasiagawa. Kashima can win it, not just to look insanely beautiful in the Cinderella dress and break the internet and this meerkat's soul, but also wish away Rashi Ogawa and save stardom from the influence of outer gods. So she beats her first opponent, one Komomo, dressed like Avril Lavigne, who, just like me, owns Kashima's sexy photo book and is under the influence of the sexiness of this little demon of evil cuteness. Cause she loses. Kashima goes to celebrate when some sick sadist empty-headed drone informs Kashima that she'll face Shuri if she beats Tomoka Anaba. Kashima immediately begging to the gods, oh my, this poor woman cannot escape the wrath of death. So she watched in the back and, oh, look at her, cheering for the biggest gamble in her life, her own life. But Shuri kills Tomoka and crushes Kashima's soul as she pouts about life. This is the image of a woman who knows she has to, yet again die and revive again. She's so tired of it. Look at her. Look at her. So she waits and waits and is losing her patience and oh, she's scolding Tomoka for losing her. Like, what the fuck? You had one job? You had to lose? Why'd you lose? You just killed me. You killed me. You killed me. So it's once again Shuri versus Saki Kashima in the second round of the Cinderella tournament. Shuri with nothing else to prove as she murdered Kashima once already just wants to win and face Julia for the red belt title she once held. But instant kill Kashima is blocking her path again. Kashima, Sakira. Shuri's greatest rival. And her music hits in. Where's Kashima? Bouquet? Mm. I guess Kashima decided against it, and oh, Shuri on the prowl now. She'd be hunting and using that nose of her to sniff out the fear of this little demon. And oh no, 
She's dragging him out. Leave her alone, you murderer. You monster, you. And Kashima hiding, experiencing war flashbacks again. Shying away from Shuri, using the If she can't see me, she can't hurt me strats. And a little tie just enjoying their favorite little minion's pain. <laughs> Daichi trying to get Kashima into the match, but she's begging. She's begging. Don't ring the bell. Oh no, here she comes. Kashima avoiding at all costs. Like, nope, and nope, and nope, and please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah! Kasuma tries to eliminate Shuri off the top rope to the lava below, but Shuri like, and then Undertaker up. So Kashima with the slap, and oh no, oh no, you fucked up. Shuri angry now, and murders Kashima with the knees. So a little tie won't let Kashima die, because they are the tightest unit in this company, and handcuff Shuri to the ropes. And now, instant kill Kashima, here to kill Shuri. She has all the confidence. She was never scared of Shuri. It's not that Shuri can do anything about it at all right now. No, not at all. Nope. So Kashima with helium to Shuri and Oh no. Not again. She's embarrassing her life. <laughs> Kashima now cooling off the anger of Shuri and Kashima like. So Shuri busts out the cops. Holy Shida. Saki in trouble. No. No. She drags her back. Stop it. She's murdering Kashima. She's murdering her. Drops the leg and destroys the neck of Kashima. But she kicks out, she won't lose again, she will face her fear, and... Nope. <laughs> oh, never mind, she's dead again, and... Oh, no, she kicks out! Kashima refuses to lose, so Shuri with the stretch muffler again, and Kashima crawls and escapes the hole that always kills her. You go, girl! Shuri, the finish the job, but oh, she throws powder in the face! Roll up! Shuri kicks out, but oh, the Kishi Kaisei! She got her! She got her! Yes! Yes! Saki Kashima has once again beaten the bane of her existence with a most evil genius plot from one star-like kid, and she's hiding behind Daichi. <laughs> Oh my god, just run, Kashima, run! Saki Kashima has defeated her fear of death. She has conquered it with the help of a whale tie, because that's what family does. And a whale tie means family. And Shuri pissed. This murderer continues to be foiled by this little demon of evil genius. This pretty forlorner of hearts and souls who survived death and will move on to the third round of the Cinderella tournament to win the pretty princess dress and wish away Rasiagawa for good so she can live and stop dying by the whims of an old man. Because this gorgeous eater of McDonald's will vibe, damn it, and wants to do another photo book that goes harder than the one this humble meerkat has. Oh my god. Ergo, this beautiful creature of S-tier cuteness must live and continue to live. She's grateful to be alive. Now she's safe, right? Nah, Shuri after her like Michael Myers. Oh my god, does this mean... Does this mean Shuri's not done for revenge? What the hell, Rossi? Just let her be free. Be free, Kashima. That's all she wants, like your original opening theme song once said. Let me be. Go and walk on. Because Saki Kashima will not die. Kashima, Saki da.